This is my fight prediction for Takuma Inoue Versailles Susumi. Uh, Zumi is definitely going to be a good matchup for uh, Inoue. He's a come forward fighter. Uh, very aggressive. I know I seen him fight uh, Higa one time. And that was a very good fight. And um, I think Higa was recently in a matchup. I forgot who he fought against recently. But that was a tough fight. Higa's always in a tough fight. So this is going to be a good style matchup for Zumi. I think that um, really if you look at it, in a way, and him are sort of built the same. I think he slightly might be a little bit bigger. But I think him and Inoue around the same size, reach height. Um, I think it's going to be a good matchup for Inoue. He'll be able to go in here and show some things that he haven't shown before. He has shown in other fights, like Ankaha's and everything else. But this is going to be a different kind of matchup. I think uh, Zumi is a lot more aggressive. He jabs very well, but um, he usually just comes with a jab, lead with a jab, and then a one-two. And that's kind of his whole strategy overall. Like, he's not really a complex guy. He's trying to get you up out of there. He's trying to get something to break you down and lead you to a knockout. And a lot of times, he'll dip down with a high guard instead of actually having his gloves together you can kind of punch through each time so he's not really blocking his face so it's going to be able to it's going to be easy to kind of punch down the middle throw a jab or one two that's going to be the easy part of this fight for him the hard part is going to be having to counter punch and respond because Zumi, he's uh not really going to wait he's going to start off from the beginning bell and he's going to be pressing and pressing the whole fight and looking for the knockout he's not going to slow down uh, and that's what in a way he's gonna have to do. He's gonna have to be able to counter, all, set him up, uh, punch between that guard. That guy, Zumi, definitely likes to uh, dip down, bend his knees, and crouch down a little bit, sway from left to right. But he really doesn't move his head as much though. Even though he crouches down and he plays has good defense as far as the crouching down and changes the levels, he's not moving his head as much. So you can easily tee off on him. Just going to the head. He's not going to block it. He just doesn't. That's not his type of style. He's a, a rough, rugged fighter. And I think with Inoue's technical ways and the thing he goes, the way he goes about the fight, he's going to be able to jab, jab, counter off the back foot. He's comfortable off the back foot. He can outbox you on the back foot, but he can also come forward too. So I think he's going to be on the back foot coming forward. Uh moving around the ring a lot. He's going to be using his legs. I think that'll play a big role. That'll be a huge advantage for him. Uh, t so he ain't got to sit on his punches as much. But I think uh, Zumi's going to be sitting on his punches. He's going to be looking for the big shots. He's going to be loading up on his shots. He really likes to load up on his punches. That's why he usually doesn't throw a lot of combinations. He'll throw one or two. So if any way can get him in a situation where he can exchange uh, – at a high volume, he can probably catch him in an uh, awkward position and possibly end up stopping him or hurting him late. And that's the type of fight that he needs to be in because you don't want to be going punch for punch with this guy at a low tempo. I think if you raise the tempo and, and test this guy's stamina, he'll be able to dominate in any position he wants to. Test this guy's stamina early and see what he's really about because right now it looks like uh, Zumi is a guy who's going to go in there and just try to rush forward and uh, press him and pressure him and knock him off his square, which would be a good strategy for in a way. Try to make him uh, think fast and on the go, but his instincts are going to kick in, and I think in a way will be able to respond to a lot of situations. But he can get busted up or even dropped in this fight. He has been dropped recently, so it can happen with that same type of style too. This could be a this could be a possible upset. This guy's uh Zumi is uh he's a he's a good fighter. Very tough fighter. He's one of the best fighters that uh anyway has been in the ring with. And for him to win this fight, he'll have to go on to uh he's trying to go on to fight Nakatani after this. But if he can pressure this guy and be able to see see what I wanna see is I wanna see Zumi do some inside fighting. Try to fight in the inside with um uh Inouye. If you can do that, you can actually dominate and win this fight. But if he's going to be on the outside 
and standing there with no head movement, I think Inoue will be able to dominate in this fight. I think he really will. His hand speed, everything is just too quick. He has a decent jab, too. He really has a good jab. He just has to adjust and not try to react too slow. I think his reaction time is kind of slow sometimes, and that's where he gets him caught. And that's how he got dropped the one time. But if he can react a little quicker, think on the go, move around, use his legs, um, try to have this guy run into a lot of shots, because he will do that, I think he'll be able to win this fight. I don't think it's going to be a knockout fight. I was going to lean towards a knockout. But I think in this fight, it's going to be a decision. I think it's going to be a decision. It's a tough fight. It's a 50-50 fight in my eyes. So I definitely think it's going to be a tough fight. But um, that's all I got.